everyone, Lauren from Wildflowers here with a fun, 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 fun new product. Did y'all know that chemists have the ability to control how stringy a gel is? It was the coolest thing working with our chemists to make this product. So to start the nail, I'm doing a black gel polish nail, curing it, and then applying the Wildflowers matte top coat and curing that. Now, da 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 da, it's the Wildflower Spider Gel. And I'll be using the Wildflowers Gold Brush for this demonstration today. Um, this stuff is crazy. You can't get it off the end of your brush. Like you have to just be like blah, 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 all over the place trying to get it off the edge of your brush. We're gonna make a quick little spider web. It's fun for the season, for fall. Um, the best thing to do is start with the middle of the web because you need like a home base to start your string in. So to get a good string, here's the big secret. You have to pull your brush up. So pull up after you put it in there. Make sure you got a little glob on the edge. Go up and then lay the string down. Okay, up and then lay it down. Up and then down, up and then down. It's all in this technique. So just hear my voice when you're doing it. Go up and then down, up and then down. All right, so now that I've got that stuck in your head, <laughs> um, things to note, you can go back over a line by just going in reverse. So you can go up and lay that line down. If it's too thin, you can go up and come back the same way you just came to make it thicker. Um, so another thing is you have to touch your brush down to kind of tack down the string. So for the spider web, obviously you saw I put my glob in the middle so I kind of have a home base to get more gel. And gosh darn it, this stuff. I'm telling you, if y'all come up with a cool trick to get it like to stop stringing when you're trying to get it out, let me know. I just shake it like a crazy person until I can get it off. Um, but what you have to do is you have to have gel there to be able to make a string. So sometimes I'll pull on the side of my uh, jar to just press that bead down to the bottom of my brush to the very tip. And you can see I'm going round and round and round and round and round, up and down and up and down and up and down with the gel. Having fun making a spider web. And don't worry if it's not perfect because if you really examine spider webs, I mean, some of them are perfect, but not all of them. Sometimes they have weird little places. Don't get this on your client's skin. Get it off before you cure it. I'm gonna grab the Wildflowers White Chrome 2 and our applicators. I love our applicators. If you don't have them, you've gotta try them. Okay, wipe this off with isopropyl alcohol. And what's so cool about it is you can chrome it. So grabbing the White Chrome number two. I chose number two because it has more green. Um, it's kind of a green pink, which I really like. So. Dipping my applicator in here, I'm gonna rub this all over the nail, and what you're gonna notice is it's gonna look like it's sticking everywhere, which even if it did, it would be kind of cool looking, because you can still see the white through it. But once you get to really rubbing it, you'll see it's gonna come off of that matte, so it's not really gonna stick to that matte background much. You might get some sparkle, but a little bit of twinkle, I don't have a problem with it. Um, so dust that off. You can also, I'm wearing gloves here, so if you have gloves on, you can always rub your finger kind of over top of that to just help pull some of the excess off. Now it's really, it's kind of crummy. It's so disappointing when I do videos and it's hard to see an effect. So at the end of this video, I did add a little bonus clip where I put on my macro lens so I got it really close up in the light so you can see it twinkling because it looks amazing. But even without the chrome, it's really fun. I feel like it's gonna be a really fun seasonal nail for people who like stuff like this. Um, not really my flavor, but you know, it's when you're in nail tech, you, you have to have the cool stuff. So this is a quick and fun thing that you can do. I'm sure your client will have fun while you're doing this design. I add the Wildflowers Top Coat Gel and then just clean off that excess uh, chrome powder that gets left behind. And you can kind of see it twinkling here, especially when it blurs, but wait, here's where you can really see it. 
just the way that the web sort of just catches the light and twinkles when you see it. And you'll, I mean, look at it. Oh my gosh. You'll see it when you do it. It's super cool. If you want to pick up the Wildflower Spider Gel, you can head to our website, wildflowersnails.com. We have it there for you. We may even have a special bundle for you. So make sure you check out our bundles uh, and see what we have. Now, I do a lot of hands-on workshops. I love the hands-on workshops. They are amazing. I do hope that if you're someone crazy about nail art, that you'll consider coming to our headquarters in sunny Southwest Florida to take our Master Artist Week. Now, the Master Artist Week is eight nail art classes. You are doing all of these looks hands-on yourself. I teach it, then I help you do it, but you're doing them. 48 different nails. You will be like the queen of nail art when you finish this class. So whether you're a beginner and you just want to learn like everything you can of every subject of nail art, or if you're someone who's been in the game for a while and you're trying to spiff up your skills and catch up on everything that you missed over the past however many years, this is an incredible class. It's so fun. You can sign up at wildflowersnails.com. Of course, shop anytime. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for a free tutorial every Thursday. Thanks so much for joining us. I do hope to see you next week.